Hello again, thank you very much for joining me on another one of my little videos. Today we're going to do part two of small modular reactors, SMRs for short. Here we go, let's take a look. You will recall in my part one video, I debunked the theory that small modular reactor would be a complete unit arriving on the back of a truck or on a barge and then literally it would be set up on site and it would immediately provide electrical power. That is a long way from the truth which I went through in the previous video and there will be a link up there which you can enjoy the thoughts that we had in that video. So just as a quick recap, we know that a small modular reactor is really either just the reactor itself or in some cases uh, the reactor and the steam generators. Therefore, you will need a turbine hall and generators. You'll need an administration block, a control room. There's the radiological security turnstiles, the body radioactive scanners, the dosimeter distribution, any subsequent decontamination, grid connection, typically, as at Bradwell, the grid has long been disconnected. And it is going to take up a whole lot more space. In addition to that, and this is what I didn't cover in the last video, is about how you deal with the spent nuclear fuel. And therefore, you will need a cooling pond, because if they are going to take the fuel out of these uh, modular reactors on site to um, refuel, then they will need to be stored in water, under water for up to 10 years. After that, they will then move it into a dry fuel store, which could then remain for another 100 years, 200 years. Who knows? The other, other alternative that may be being mooted is to take the whole unit back on the barge or the truck and take it off to Sellafield. But once you have spent nuclear fuel, that is the most dangerous and the most toxic part of anything that comes out of a nuclear power station, regardless of the size. It's no less dangerous if it is a small uh, pod containing the spent fuel. And so therefore that would have to be transported in the fullness of time to this thing called a GDF, Geological Disposal Facility. Of course, disposal is a bit of an odd word because it's not being disposed of. It is a geological dump facility. So there are a number of questions that still remain. Uh, and also, there aren't any working SMRs of the new designs that are being proposed for the UK. Clearly, uh, there is a SMR symposium which comprises Rolls-Royce and other companies working together to uh, give to the government a plan and to eventually, one assumes, lodge with the Office for Nuclear Regulation, the ONR, a generic design that then could be assessed by the ONR and the Environment Agency. But that hasn't happened yet. And there's not really a prospect of that happening for quite a while. Even with the streamlined GDA, generic design assessment process, it will still take three to five years. They've reduced it to three stages instead of four um, to assess these smaller modular reactors. And there's cost. Looking at the figures for the new scale project, the predicted costs have now more than doubled. The idea of a modular system where parts are replicated, it does make sense practically and financially, and there could be a reduction in reactor costs, but that would only be achieved once critical mass had been reached. In reality, electricity costs from nuclear will always be at a considerable premium. So, despite the ribbing that I had in my last video about how we need something now, 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 uh, the immediacy is getting more critical day by day. We have to sort something out about global warming by the end of this decade. So 2030 is really a bit of a deadline. If we don't start really eating into that, 
And I think this starts to come down to, it's like a battle between the economy and the environment. And it's as though the two shall never meet. And yet, if we get the environment right, the economy will flourish. So rather than this short-termism of let's make sure we get lots of jobs, there's going to be uh, work in factories, there's going to be work on site, the economy, the environment, they have to work hand in hand. I thank you for listening. Sorry it's a bit of a rant. Uh, it is something that I feel the wool is being pulled over the public's and the politicians' eyes about SMRs. I leave these thoughts with you. Thank you for listening, and if I don't have the opportunity before Christmas, from all at Bang, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy and nuclear-free New Year. Thank you.